What's up guys, it's Tucker Singer at SNS Smithing. Today we're going to continue working on fire tools. Let's get talking about it. In our last video of the series on uh, fire maintenance tools for the cool forge or charcoal forge, we made this rake at a 3 8 round bar. So today we're going to be making a very simple fire poker. This will be, uh, I'm just going to be using this scrap piece of quarter inch round bar I'm not sure how long it is but it's plenty long enough this is just going to be a good exercise in tapers and uh, possibly round I don't know if I want to round it back up yet but I'll take you guys along with me for that and we'll get started on some tapers all right everybody for this project today you don't really need anything fancy we're just going to take a piece of round bar here we're going to put a taper on the end for the poker, just a nice little taper on the end, and then the hook for hanging on the back. And the hammer we're going to be using is our ball peen hammer. Right, so let's get started. Got it more heated up. Let's get started on our taper here. You can do it for something small like this, you can do it in one heat. But this is going to be a pretty short video, so I figured I'd go a little bit more in depth on how to round this up. Alright, now just start doing little like half on, half off hammer blows, and just start rotating the bar. Light hits, we're not trying to move the metal so much, we're just trying to lightly change the shape of it and planish it. Get all those corners off. this pretty good so far. We can keep going a little bit more with cold heat since we're not really moving the metal. We're mostly just planishing it at this point, taking out any hammer marks. So you can keep going with this for a little bit. Try to focus on that transition where it went from the round to the square. That's usually a pretty difficult spot to get to round up cleanly. Take a little bit more of a heat. Preheat at the 
example like we did before. I put in uh, one of my other videos where I explain why I preheat this. But it's still pretty cold, so it sucks the heat right out of this cold with this small stock like that real fast. So we'll do one more heat to clean up our round. Then we'll go to the other side and put a hook on. Now just like before, work on making it round. Make it as nice as you want it. Taper with a nice smooth transition from the parent bar all the way down to where our taper was. A nice smooth and round. You can take it farther than this if you want, but for the purposes of this, I, this is plenty good. The bar here, and let's start our taper. Remember, keep a slight angle whenever you're holding the bar, and hammer half on, half off blows for the taper. Now we got a rough taper in, do another heat, pull it back some more, clean everything up, and then We'll round this up and then make our hook. Alright, pulling it back a little bit more. That's good. Got a nice taper on here again. And just like before, whenever we round it up, we're going to take it and stand it up on the diamond. And we're going to knock back the corners on each side like that and then once that's done we'll round it up go now let's knock down the corners we're doing this a little bit faster this time knock down all the corners and start Rounding everything up a little bit. Alright, we got a little bit of a waste on there. Put it in for another heat and we'll continue to round it up. Alright, now let's continue rounding her up. One more heat to clean it the rest of the way up to where I'd like it. Then we'll put the bend in. Alright, finish rounding her up. Focus more so on the tip this time. transition into the parent bar. Nice round, we got a little bit of a bend there, but we'll fix that in a second. Next thing we gotta do is bend her over the horn. Bend it. First thing we're gonna do here is take it and put 
a nice little bend like that on it. And then we're just going to start rounding it over the corner of the hardening, or the corner of the anvil. This will probably take a couple, a little bit to get just to the right shape and everything, take out all the kinks. Almost where we want it. Clean up this kink here a little bit more, and then it's done. a nice organic feel to it so I don't think it turned out too bad I'll punch it out and show you the whole thing all right guys so here we go this is our fire poker for coal forge number two in our fire maintenance tool video we have our nice round of taper in the front for poking and moving stuff in the fire around then we have our nice organic uh, hanging hook here in the back. So we made this out of some quarter inch round bar. Used the ball peen hammer. I don't think it turned out too badly. Alright guys. Talk to you in a minute. Alright guys. This was my fire po poker for the coal forge. So I hope you guys are liking this series. Let me know in the comments if you like the idea of this. If you like series, I'll keep putting out different series for things. And uh, I will put a link to the other fire poker I made for the Warped Legacy Challenge. Uh, Somewhere around here on the screen, I'm going to try to put up one of those end things, and I'll put another link in the description for it anyway. And then I'll probably throw in some of those cards throughout the video. I'm going to experiment with that. So, thanks for following along with me, guys. Like always, like, share, comment, and subscribe.